take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Open the app and tap to enable the input method. In the language and input menu, enable Google Pinion input with the slider. In the Google Pinion input app, tap select input method. Choose Google Pinion input and tap configure input methods. Point two, May 2020. Let's help you make your mark. If it's a pre-installed app in the system partition, you will not be able to delete it. However, disabling effectively does the same thing. It cannot run, cannot receive updates, and all updates and data for the app are removed. Point two zero December 2018. Take our lead. Gboard, Google's virtual keyboard, is a smartphone and tablet typing app that features glide typing, emoji search, GIFs, Google Translate, handwriting, predictive text, and more. Many Android devices come with Gboard installed as the default keyboard, but it can be added to any Android or iOS device. Point two six May 2020. Take our lead. Tap and hold your finger on the 123 button on the Android's on-screen keyboard whenever you want to switch to Chinese input. Tap the input method option in the window that appears and tap the Google Pinion email option in the select input method window. Let's help you make your mark. With Android, and I believe iOS now, third-party keyboards can be downloaded and used with other apps. Google has no way of enforcing that the third-party software is not recording your keystrokes during its operation. The workaround comes down to know and trusting what application you're using for your keyboard. Point one eight February 2015. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.